The funniest part about making this video is that here I am telling people not to say K when in English, really, I say what, what, what all the time. This is a typical case of haz lo que te digo, no lo que hago. Do as I say, not as I do. Hola mi gente, mi nombre es Paulísima, my name is Paulísima, and I'm one of the Spanish teachers at Spring Spanish. If you're learning Spanish, probably you already know how to say what in español, and that is qué. And if you are a beginner, perhaps you have been using the word qué every time you haven't understood something that was said to you. Qué, qué, qué. That's okay. Pero puedes mejorar, but you can do better. En este video vas a aprender, in this video you will learn cinco diferentes formas, five different forms or five different ways to react when you don't understand something that was said to you in español. This will be particularly useful if you already know enough Spanish that you are daring to strike up conversations with Spanish speakers. And you know, typical, once they realize que puedes hablar español, that you can speak Spanish, they start speaking super, super fast. And you're like, no, no, espérenme, no tan rápido, not so fast, wait for me. Antes de comenzar, before we start, dale click, click on el botón de suscribirse, the subscribe button, and since you're there, also click in la campanita, in the little bell, so you get notified every time there is a new free Spanish lesson aquí en el canal de YouTube de Spring Spanish, here on the YouTube channel of Spring Spanish. Ahora sí, empecemos. Número uno, perdón or disculpa. It's like pardon or excuse me. And it works better than que because it's more polite. So you are with un amigo, with a friend, and they say, te invito a comer unos guaraches. And you are like, hmm, invito, okay, no invito, invite, comer, comer, okay, no, comer, eat, gua, qué? Gua, qué? So, please resist the urge to say que. Say disculpa or perdón instead. And it is very likely que tu amigo, that your friend, is going to repeat the full phrase. Te invito a comer unos guaraches. Perdón? Te invito a comer unos guaraches. Ah, yeah, I still don't get it. So, you say... Número dos. ¿Podrías repetirlo, pero más despacio, por favor? Could you repeat that, but slower, please? Trabajemos en tu pronunciación. Let's work on your pronunciation. ¿Podrías repetirlo, pero más despacio, por favor? That's right. Your friend, who has been trying to take you out for lunch for the last hour, will repeat it slower. Te invito a comer unos guaraches. You still don't get it, right? So, don't worry. This is why we have many options here and this is how we go to número tres. ¿Qué significa? What does it mean? So, you understood the first part but you still have no idea what is guaraches or whatever that your friend is telling you he wants to invite to you. So what do you do? You can say, mm, ¿Qué significa guaraches? Or whatever it is that you manage to catch. So, te invito a comer unos guaraches. And then you say, um, ¿Qué significa guaraches? And whatever it is that you heard, right? So you're like, ah, guaraches. And your friend gets super excited because you know you, you made that phrase, ¿qué significa guaraches? And he'll be like, ah, guaraches. Guaraches es un antojito mexicano que es así hecho como de maíz, bastante grueso y lleva frijolitos y lleva queso, crema. And then you're like completely lost, right? 
So what do you say? Ah, ¿podrías repetirlo pero más despacio, por favor? Of course. Guaraches son antojitos mexicanos. ¿Qué significa antojitos? And then your friends who is really nice is going to say, Oh, antojitos, that's street food. There, you got it. I got it. Street food. Yes, I want street food. Número cuatro. No entendí. No entendí. I didn't understand. Don't be afraid of being clear and direct. This phrase is great because of its simplicity and you can make it even better by adding this part. No entendí la última parte, the last part. Or, no entendí la parte de something. Same example. Te invito a comer unos guaraches. Uh, no entendí la parte de guara something. Or, te invito a comer unos guaraches. No entendí la última parte. And then they will repeat the last part. Ah, te invito a comer unos guaraches. Then you see, you see, you, do you see where I'm going with this? Número 5. Una combinación de todo. <laughs> a combination of all of the above. Perdón, ¿podrías repetir? Disculpa, no entendí. Perdón, ¿podrías repetir la última parte? Perdón. ¿Podrías repetir la parte de... And then you add the part that you didn't understand, ¿ok? Perdón, ¿podrías repetir la parte de... That's it. Muy bien. Now you know cinco alternativas. Now you know five alternatives to the word what when you want to let people know that in spite of your amazing level of Spanish... <laughs> No les entendiste. You didn't understand them. Let me know in the comments if you found these tips helpful. And also let me know if there's something that you're finding particularly difficult about aprender español, about learning Spanish. If you want to keep learning Spanish in a way that is fast, efficient, and natural, make sure to check out the free Spanish training. You're going to find the link right there in the description box. Check it out so you can learn about the method that we use at the Spring Spanish Academy and in our videos. It's called conversation-based chunking. That is the method that we use to teach us, our students to be fluent in Spanish without having to memorize vocabulary lists or, you know, grammar rules. Yeah, that's what we do. Check it out. I think you're going to like it. This was Paulissima y fue un placer estar con ustedes. Hasta la próxima. Remember to subscribe to the Spring Spanish YouTube channel, like this video and share it with anyone interested in learning Spanish for good.